Hello guys, welcome back to another video on Hacks TV. Now today it's the Luton Town versus Accrington Stanley preview. Just before I start this video, I just want to say that I am getting rid of my Instagram for Hacks TV. Basically, I'm not using it and I always keep forgetting to use it. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using my personal Instagram account. So if you want to follow me on that, that'd be highly appreciated. I'm going to be getting rid of the Hacks TV um, Instagram. I just keep forgetting to go on it and it's just so much easier just to use my personal Instagram. On to today's video. Basically, what I'm going to do, I'm going to make these previews a little bit more interesting. Like, I only cover about the games. Basically, what I'm going to do, I'm going to cover the news as well. So, everything which has happened within Luton over the past couple of days, I'm going to be mentioning in these types of videos. Just like any other preview, I basically talk about the game before, and that was the game against Notts County. Notts County's first goal was really disappointing, especially from a defensive, especially from a defensive point of view. James Justin and Glenn Ray, it was down their right hand side. Lack of communication between them two led to the ball going into the box. I think it was either Alan Sheehan or Scott Cuthbert who lost the header. And then their player who ran into the box. No one was tracking him. I think it was Pelly was the closest to him. And the player had it was basically a free shot at in front of the goal. It was basically an easy shot for the lads to score the goal. When Notts County got the goal, we kind of took control of the game. We had loads of chances in the first half. We obviously scored two goals, um, Ollie Palmer and Pelly Ruddock. Now, people kept saying Pelly Ruddock's goal was like a mishit type of goal. Yeah, if you actually watch it back on the highlights, he actually hit it with a little bit of pa with a lot of power. And I don't think it was kind of a mishit. I think he was just very lucky that I think he... I, it wasn't a miss hit, but it wasn't like he didn't mean to do it in a way, but it went in. They all count, and Petty Roddick, he does need to add some more goals to his, um, needs to add more goals to his game. But I thought he was man of match, in my opinion. Uh, people kept saying Scott Cuthbert was. I I disagree. I thought Petty Roddick was, uh, Petty Roddick and um, Stuart Moore was absolute class. I thought Potts was really good as well. I thought Potts could have, should have scored as well. He had a few chances. But them three players were the standing out performers for me. Danny Hilton, any other day, he could have scored a hat-trick against Notts County. Literally, the amount of chances which he should have scored, but he chose not to. Pelly Roddick actually set him up kind of a few occasions as well. So, if Danny Hilton actually scored, Pelly's assists would have went up as well. But you know, like at the end of the day, we got the three points, and that's what all ma that obviously matters the most. Danny Hilton obviously got sent off because it's typical Danny Hilton. Are we going to miss him for Accrington and Morecambe? To be honest, we've pretty much confirmed it's a playoff place. As long as we don't lose these next two games by high like goal scoring, which is very, very unlikely, we're going to do that. I think we'll be all right. Games against Accrington is going to be the hardest one. We could possibly lose against Accrington. And knowing Accrington, I know they need to win. And they're the most informed team outside the playoffs as well. So they obviously want to win today and get into the playoffs. It's been really disappointing this season. Because there's a lot of teams... Um, there's been a lot of teams who haven't performed. There's no, there's not really any team going into the playoffs in a bit of form. I know we're four games unbeaten, but if we can win the, these next two or get at least four points from these next two games, I think we'd be one of the strong favourites to go up because we'd be, like, we're obviously on an unbeaten run going into the playoffs and we're playing the best. So it'd be really, it's going to be really interesting. Obviously, Danny Hilton's out for these next two games, so I'm assuming Oli Palmer will be playing instead of him. Oli Palmer and Isaac up front. It's, it's quite, I want to see them two up front. They, they look like a deadly partnership, to be honest, because Isaac Vassell got a bit of pace, and obviously Oli Palmer can like hold the ball up and let and right and deliver. So on Sunday, Luton Town, we had our awards evening night. Obviously, Danny Hilton like took most of the awards, but there were obviously a few other players who took awards as well. So if you wasn't at that awards evening night or you haven't heard anything about it, O'Donnell won the goal of the season award. Basically, his goal against Yeovil, which was a really good goal, that won goal of the season award. And then there was like a one, there was an award for the fans. Um, Steve Townsend won that award. 
um, for his efforts, which he's been working with with the club. So, obviously, fair play to Steve Townsend. Pelly Roddick won the Most Man of the Matches at Home award. So, fair play to Pelly Roddick. Scott Cuthbert won the Away Fans, like... Play of the Season Award, so well done, Scott Cuthbert, our captain. Danny Hilton won the Juniors, um, like, season ticket, like, award. So, obviously, Danny, Super Danny Hilton got that one. James Justin won the Young Players, um, Luton, obviously, Luton Town's Young Player Award. So, well done, James Justin. He's actually been really good this season, so fair play to him. Hopefully, he's going to be number one right back for next season as well. Now, the player who won Internet Player of the Year, that was Danny Hilton. The players player, uh, obviously the players player of the season award went to Danny Hilton as well. And that was it. Obviously Danny Hilton won three awards. But funny enough, he wasn't actually at that awards evening. We don't know why, but obviously well done Danny Hilton. He's had a fantastic season. The amount of goals he scored, the amount of goals he's created, his efforts, his work rate, it's been fantastic this season. And it highly deserves it. He's obviously in the team of the season for League Two as well. Fair play, Daddy Hilton. On Monday, Luton Town, we played in a um, reserve game against Derby. We had a pretty good, strong squad. We had a few first-team players who played in that game as well. Now, the, the players who scored in that game against Derby were Mario, a trialist called Andre, um, Banton and Smith. So, we had four players who scored. The trialist scored a header, I believe, from that game, which I read on social media. Now, the trialist which played in that game up front was a trialist from West Brom. He played for, the re, his recent club he played for was Coventry, so, and that was on a loan deal. So, I don't know much about this player. He looks like he's a target man type of player, but yeah, he scored on that night. And we also had a trialist in goal, and he comes from Norwich, and he's still at Norwich. So, would he be a potential number one goalkeeper for next season? I don't know. But there were the two trialists who played in that game. Now, obviously, as fans, we like to help each other out. Now, there's I know someone called Robson, and basically, one of his friends, um, one of his friends died, and his name was called Tom. Now, um, as since his death, um, Robson has obviously done a lot of like donations to charity, raised some money for charity. He's done all these different things. Now, recently, Robson's decided he's going to be cycling 200 miles in memory of his best mate. So, obviously, I will leave a link in the description below where you can go and donate to help um, Robson raise some money for his chosen charity, which he's done to honour his friend. £1, 50p, £2, anything. If you've got a little bit of loose change or a little bit of money left in your bank, obviously go and donate. It's obviously for, like, doing. he's doing it for a really nice friend. He obviously was a Luton fan as well. Please donate. And, yeah, fair play to Robson for doing that. Now, on to the team which I would play against Accrington Stanley. Now, basically, what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to leave, like, a... My, it'd be like a light, like my lineup um, screenshot here. This is the team which I will play against, which I'll play against Aquitan Stanley. 4 4 2 formation. I know Nathan Jones doesn't like doing this, he's been playing five out the back recently, but I believe this is going to be a good formation, and this is what I believe will win the game against Aquitan Stanley. Now, recently, fans have been, like, on social media, have been saying that they were, like, some some players dropped for this game, like, rest of few players for the playoffs. I believe you shouldn't be doing that. The reason why is because you need consistency. Now, if you've got players... So, if we win these next two games against Aquitan Stanley and against Morecambe, we are going to be going into the playoffs on good form. Now, you don't want to drop players out for that because you want to keep them going. You want to keep them, en like, have a lot of energy... Keep them going. Now, they're professional footballers and they're only playing one game per week now. So, they should be able to handle it. So, I wouldn't rest any players. Obviously, Danny Hill... Uh, uh, obviously, Danny Hilton, you've got no choice. But, everyone else, you don't rest. You keep them fresh. You keep them going. And, yeah. they will, And, hopefully, they will deliver. But, anyway, guys. That is kind of the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to drop a like on this video. Now, also... Let me know in the comment section of this video if you like the new style of preview, what I'm doing. Obviously, I wanted to put some more information about what's been happening in the past couple of days. So, obviously, let me know if you enjoyed it. Also, comment down below your like predicted lineup which you would play against Aquiton Stanley. And obviously, comment down if you're gonna if you would drop any players. Obviously, I wouldn't, but would you drop any players? Obviously, subscribe if you are new, and I'll see you guys in the next video.